Yo, what up guys, welcome back to Patched. Welcome back, and today we've got two beasts of keyboards in front of us. We have got the Logitech G Pro keyboard. Yes, and the Ducky 12TKL. They're both going mm -hmm. for 130 bucks. Yeah. So basically the same price. Which one is better for you? That's what we're gonna be doing. This is more of a comparison video. And if you guys do wanna cop either of these keyboards, we'll leave a link in the description box. But let's get it started off with the bottom. So uh, on the Ducky, we got, you know, just four feet on each corner, right? And Ooh. yep, and then we've got, we got three on the bottom, two on the top, uh, and then we've also got two adjustable feet uh, on these guys, so four degrees and eight degrees, which uh, the Ducky also has a similar thing going on. Yes, but I kind of like Logitech's better because they are these really large square rubber feet, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then a, a side note or a side disclaimer, I suppose, both, both of these keyboards are well worn in. This keyboard I've been using for probably two years now and I've been daily driving this thing. Um, switching off of course for reviews and such to test other keyboards, but this has been my daily driver uh, for, for nearly two years. Yes, and the Ducky 1-2 TKL is our friend's, you know, keyboard and he games with it all the time. So uh, this is very well worn in as well. I, I feel like I like the construction of the Logitech keyboard a little bit more because I mean, they are both plastic though. Yeah. You know, yeah. but it just, it just like, like the feet here, like, like yours sounds- They go out super easily. Yeah. I typically have it out to the, to the top, the eight degree setting, and I just keep it like that. Um, that's just how I prefer to have it on my desk. It's optional, but I always prefer my keyboard a little bit higher. Yeah, and, and I don't know, it's just the construction and the plastic that they're using in the Ducky that it just doesn't feel as good to me. Just, it's, it's not a huge deal though, because really when you're t playing or typing, you're never going to notice it. It's just, yeah. it's just you know, nitpicking at this point. <laughs> oh man, I wish this was aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it really doesn't matter all too much, but some people really do like uh, to have a good quality keyboard, you know? Yeah. All right, on top of the keyboard, it says here, Ducky12 RGB, you know, and with the logo. On top, the... mine says absolutely nothing. Nothing. Uh, it's just a, it's a plastic, but, it says, uh, but we've got... But it says pro here on the side. Pro on the side, that oh. way you know. You yeah, know what you're dealing with. Yes. Uh, on the top here, we've got micro USB. Sickening. Sickening. Uh, on the Ducky12 TKL, you got a USB-C detachable cord. And uh, of course, they're both detachable, which is good. They're yeah. both in the middle as well. You know, some keyboards have it on the left or on the right side, but both of these keyboards have it right smack in the middle. Yeah, and Logitech's, I mean, usually I hate micro USB and I still do, but they with their connector that they have on there, it's super easy to recognize like where it is and how you need to get the, uh, the micro USB cable in there because micro USB just tends to like bend and break all the time. Uh, so they have like a proprietary sort of deal going on there. Yeah. They use it on their mice as well. So as far as the overall size goes, obviously the Logitech G Pro keyboard is going to be a little bit longer because you have, they're, they're not even media keys. I don't even know. Yeah, we're not really fully utilizing this, yeah. all this space up here. What is this? I kind of wish it wasn't there, to be honest. Yeah. Um, all you've got is a game mode button, which can, you know, switch your lighting for like QWER if you're playing League, things like that. It disables your Windows key, stuff like that. And then you've got your brightness, um, which could all just be bound through function keys anyways, or done in the software. I never really need to adjust my keyboard's brightness on the fly, you know? Whenever I need to change it, I can just go into the software. I'm playing. I'm playing a, <laughs> a professional. No, yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm playing a match right now, and it matters. So I need to make the brightness. It has to be exactly like... tw twenty five percent. <laughs> if it's not twenty five percent, I won't win the game. Exactly. Um, yeah. But they've also got indicators for when your caps lock is on uh, and when your scroll lock is on. If anybody uses that. Okay. <laughs> and of course, here on the left, you have the big Logitech. old glow and G logo. <laughs> cool. You know, so uh, I feel like Logitech could have utilized this space a lot better. You know, put a volume rocker on there, put some media keys or something. Yeah. Like it's, it's too barren, man. There's nothing here. So I feel like what they should have done is do what Ducky did and just get rid of all of that. And I mean, like, if you want uh, the smaller keyboard or the more minimal keyboard, then obviously go with the Ducky, but it's not like that much bigger. It's not smaller. the end of the world. Yeah. Like the top of my, like this is never really intercepting with anything on my desk um, or shouldn't on the standard desk. Uh, for me, I've got another keyboard above that for my streaming PC. And then I've got an audio interface above that. Um, and then you've got monitors in the back, of course. 
So, I mean, if you have an annoying monitor stand that's like way out in your way, then you may wanna watch out for that. Uh, unless, of course, you rotate your keyboard, which a lot of people have started doing lately. So as far as the switches go, the G Pro keyboard, which is the one that I have, is available in either Cherry MX Blues, uh, which is what we have on here, or uh, Romer G, which is Logitech's proprietary switch. Um, I have the Romer Gs on these guys, and I love them. Uh, also note that they do have a G Pro X keyboard uh, since the release of this one, which has hot swappable switches in which case you can put on whatever you want. Uh, the Ducky 1-2 TKL, you can basically put any type of Cherry MX switch that's available. And um, on this keyboard, we have Cherry MX Blues, which are very, very loud. And it has a pretty high actuation force, which uh, I don't really like as much. As far as the G Pro goes, the thing I like about having the Romer G switches on there, and I didn't think I would ever really like a switch that wasn't like a Cherry or a Gateron or what have you, you know? Um, they're super quiet compared to, yep. so I just love how these guys feel. They're actually linear, but they feel, it's weird. It's like a kind of mushy, like texture kind of. Just like right at the down, top. It's weird. Right yeah. at the top, you know, it's kind of weird. But I find myself not minding that. I really like it actually. So with the switches, I really don't mind either way. Um, although if you want to stick with something you're comfortable with, the G Pro X offers more variety as far as cherry switches. Um, whereas the regular G Pro just offers Cherry MX Blues uh, or the Romer G ones, which I actually really like, but I know it's an acquired taste. So as far as the keycaps go, the Ducky comes with double shot PBT keycaps, whereas the G Pro keyboard is undisclosed. We can't find anything about the keycaps anywhere mm -hmm. uh, on their website, on Amazon or anywhere. It's a very but smooth texture. I'm gonna assume yeah. ABS just because the letters, they sort of started to get some shine on there, a little bit of gloss after uh, a lot of usage, about two years. So I would assume that it's ABS. But you know, uh, the, the ducky feels a little bit better. Like it, it, the, for me, I don't like the smoother texture. You know, I like to have a little bit more of a rougher texture. So like I, I so my fingers just stay on the keys. Um, but you know, that's just my preference. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I feel, I feel like I'm a little biased on this one because I just really like the keycaps. But honestly, I, I don't really mind the difference here. For me, it's just because this is so worn in and I've been so used to these keycaps, even though they've started to like shine and sort of gloss over, I still like them. And the shine through is still good. Um, although some of the RGB on this guy after a lot of usage uh, is not color accurate. So if I set them all to the same shade of blue, you'll see there's a couple keys on here that are a little off. They'll turn like a little bit green. Um, so. That's oh, something no. to watch out for. I know, it's the end of the world. <laughs> yeah. Uh, RGB for me is something I really don't care about all too much. But, you know, I, I know there's a lot of people that care about it. So, all right. So wrapping things up, these are both the same price. If you want more variety in the switches, obviously go with the Ducky. And if you want the overall smaller and more minimal keyboard, go with the Ducky. For me, I, I would say if you want the better quality or better build, keyboard then go with the logitech g pro keyboard yeah yeah i fully agree with that i think this i i think this is really just for build quality purposes on every other aspect the ducky 1-2 tkl is gonna beat out the g pro g pro x different story mm -hmm. but that's story for another day so again if you guys do want to get either of these keyboards we'll leave links below but that concludes our comparison video thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one see you in the next one